Hello everyone, um, I am Rachel, Pampered Chef Consultant, and I am super excited for the fall. Um, there are two things I wanna show you in this video, our Pampered Chef um, Flex Plus Multi Prep Tool, and then our Autumn Better Batter Box that is here for just a limited amount of time. So, my Flex Plus, I just got it. I haven't taken it out of the box yet, um, but it is, let me show you, an immersion blender, a food processor, and a hand mixer all in one. It comes with a cooking guide of recipes and then of course an instruction booklet there. Ooh, make some space on the counter. So this is the cup that you use with the immersion blender. I've got beaters for the hand mixer. Another option of beaters for the hand mixer. And then this here is the piece that you use with each of the individual um, components and it's rechargeable, well there's batteries and so you're not gonna be attached to the wall, which is what I'm super excited about. I'm assuming this is the lid for when I make something delicious in there. Ooh, my muscles are. All righty. So this here is the food processor component. That's really a pretty good size. I've got the different blades for that, excited about that. Here is the piece for the immersion blender. Now I honestly have, oh, okay, that was easy. Clicks right together. Hand mixer piece, charger, and two of the batteries. So, I'm guessing before I show you anything, um, I should probably charge up these batteries and make sure that it is good to go. Um, but again, let me see how easy it is to unclip. Well, okay. So this is the piece where the batteries would be housed. This is essentially the motor, and you would snap it on to the different products. See how it snaps on to be a hand mixer. Does it go that way? No, does it go that way? There we go. Um, and you would attach the beaters. So okay, I'm gonna go charge this up and then we will be showing you what is in the better batter box and we will be baking together. I'll be back soon. Okay, you guys, so that took about an hour and a half to charge up. So it turns green when it is fully charged. Um, and then it comes with two batteries. So I'm just gonna go ahead and charge up the other one, um, which is gonna be red. And once it's charged, it will be green. All right, so I just wanna highlight um, how easily this all fits together. And so then the battery um, pack lines up and you can see exactly how to do that. And that's all you have to do. You snap, 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 and it's ready to go. I'm gonna get my beaters in here. All right, so we should be good to go with this. Should be, oh, <laughs> it would help if it wasn't turned off. Okay. <laughs> All right, so we don't need that just yet. Um, so what we are going to do today is show you what comes in our Autumn Better Batter Box and then we are going to make it. Um, so I just wanna show you really quick, it comes with our mini loaf pan, which is in this beautiful blue color. Um, so I have loved when they do these boxes because it always comes with a piece of bakeware um, and you can start cooking right away. Um, it includes our almond pound cake mix, our vanilla buttercream icing, and then it has a couple cards in here. So the first one, um, it's, it's recipe cards, but it gives you some tips on the back of how to decorate cakes, um, other things that you can make in there, mini blueberry streusels, meatloaf mashed potato boats, mini banana bread loaves, so different ideas of things to make. And then there are three recipe cards. So raspberry almond loaves, tater top breakfast loaves. Now that could be really, really cute for a brunch and then oatmeal cream bars. Um, so today what we're gonna do is we're actually going to make it, but we're just gonna make it as is. We're just gonna use the pound cake um, and the frosting. So I'm gonna um, get us set up, hopefully hustle up a kid to help me with this, and we will be back. All right, you guys, so I found a kid, um, and we are gonna make the almond pound cake, but yeah, go ahead, Gabby, say hello. Hello. So this is my Gabby, and she likes to help me cook a lot. 
Okay, the butter is pretty soft. Yeah, we had a little delay um, because I realized I needed softened butter and I had not softened the butter. So we are gonna do the one package of the almond cake mix. Gabby is going to crack three eggs. Beautiful. Oh, in a while. You're okay. I'm gonna get you something for your fingers after. That's so how I was gonna get an extra <laughs> one there. Okay. So if you have kids Gabby's age, I do run cooking with kids parties um, where my kids can help with cooking and baking um, because right. practice makes perfect, right? So Gabby, typically the goal is not to get it on your fingers. Right. Okay. All right, so we've got three eggs cracked in there. We're going to do the one and a half sticks of softened butter. I feel like this is going to fall out. Mm -hmm. And then we have, what is that, a half cup of water? Yep. Wait, 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 wait. Nope, it was only supposed to be a quarter. Let's not. Oh, man. Oh, man. I was like, that looks like that's quite a bit. Okay, nice save there. Quarter cup of water. Go ahead. <laughs> And again, this is our first time using the Flex Plus. I'm going to have Gabby do it, but it is a hand mixer here. Um, so I just want to know there is a little safety on here, so she can't accidentally crank it up higher than we want it to go. To actually start it, there's a button. Here, i got to show you over there. There's a button on the side that you have to push to then get the motor going, okay? Three different speeds. Zero. We'll start okay, slower. Okay. You want to do it? I don't know. I don't want it to splatter everywhere. I just took just a hold it. Just hold it. Okay. There we go. I so smells like I don't know why. Because that's the almond. That's yeah. good. And I do believe that this does not actually have nuts in it. Um, so if you have nut allergies, it's just like almond flavor or something like that. So anywho, we are going to mix this for two minutes. All right, you guys, so this looks pretty good. Look at that, nice and smooth. <laughs> Coco's scared. We do have a lovely doggo that we love, Coco. Oh, is this how I eject the times? Oh, <laughs> well, that makes that easy. Okay, Um. so what we need to do as well is we need to oil our little mini loaf pan. So that should be enough oil for all the wells, so keep it light, okay? Mm -hmm. So the Autumn Batter Box is while supplies last. Um, last year they did come out with a different one around Christmas time. And so um, if you're interested, I would order September, October for sure. It might not be around come November, December, um, but it does make a great gift for somebody who is learning to bake or for somebody who has kids that they want to cook with and have um, already the recipes available for whatever product you buy. Because I, you know, I, I've been one of those people where I bought a bunch pan and never in my life had made a bunt cake and it sat there for six months before I finally did. Um, so it's kind of nice if you want to gift one of our beautiful blue pans that you send some recipes and ingredients right along with it. Okay, that's awesome. Okie dokie. So um, the cake uh, recipe tells you to cook in the oven for um, 58 to 60 minutes and I'm always struggling when I want to use a different size pan than what the recipe says but Thankfully to these recipe cards, um, when they made the raspberry almond loaves, they baked for just 24 to 26 minutes. So I will be able to get that right. <laughs> but let's see my Gabby. Here, I'll put that side by side. Um, we're just, we're guesstimating. We're gonna use our large scoop so that we can put one full scoop in each one and see if that I'm gives us eight loaves. Yeah, that's okay. Right. And then squeeze it. Yeah. yeah. Like a lump of mashed potatoes. Okay, that's kind of really cool. <laughs> I think we're going to have a lot of extra batter. We might just. So I'm make sure you fill this one a little bit more. I would wait till you go all the way around and then see how oh, much okay. you need to top them off. Okay? So make sure you're getting your scoops all the way full. And just to show off that these scoops come in multiple sizes. Wait, 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 wait. Dump that back in. Okay. <laughs> Let's add a little scoop to each one. Okay. I want them to come out even. 
And then we'll figure out the next time we make it, maybe what you need is three medium scoops, who knows? Um, but I love these scoops come in different sizes. The extra large scoop came out um, in March, and this is really nice to couple with our burger press. If you don't like to touch round, uh, raw ground beef, this big scoop I think would give you like a quarter pound burger or something. I think that's working out pretty nicely. So one large scoop and one little scoop will do it. So we are gonna bake these in the oven for um, 25, 26 minutes, and then I will show you how they turn out. So we went to the pool, guys, um, and turns out we kind of overfilled this maybe just a little bit, um, but we went to the pool, so I let them just cool in the pan. Um, if you don't have this handy little tool, this is the cake tester and releaser. Um, comes in super handy for getting brownies out of the pan and that type of thing. Um, but I am just going to get these cute little loaves of pound cake out of my pan and into something. And Gabby is going to hopefully come join me and make the frosting for you. Oh, and just for confirmation, it does say nut free on here. It's artificially flavored. So if you have a nut allergy, this is nut free. Um, you can enjoy the almond pound cake mix. All right. Be back in just a sec. So I've got my Gabby back. You want to say hi, Gabby? Hi. <laughs> And we are going to make the vanilla buttercream icing, um, which requires six tablespoons of softened butter, which I think that we just barely have because I have half a stick left from earlier. And then in my um, little butter container here, I surely do hope that's two tablespoons. That's all the butter we have left in the house. That's how well I uh, planned for that. Wait, 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 it doesn't tell you to do that yet. Um, so it tells you to start by beating the butter with the mixer on medium until light and fluffy for one minute. So I we're think it's too, not enough. So don't too. put the milk in. You're just going to here. Let's again push that button. Then get it on medium. Okay. So can you can you hold the handle and do that until it's light and fluffy? While I clean these things here up. Aggressively. Let's take a minute, so it's going to take a little bit to get light and fluffy. Good job. I don't know if you guys can see how fluffy it's getting. <laughs> it's kind of, it's like weighted but not too heavy. Uh-huh, oh, good. So try to stay over in this area where there's a lot of butter. Get that all whipped up, okay? And for the record, I've never made buttercream icing before, so this is pretty exciting. You can get this little bit going in there. I didn't want to get your, like, all mixed up. All right, so I think you're good. What you're going to want to do is slide that switch down. Okay. And so the next step says gradually add the icing and beat on low speed. So push that button. We'll put it back on, on low. Get back in there. And I'm gradually adding the icing. Is it what? The noise kind of changed. Is that normal? Because I put it on low this time. Oh. We were on medium for the last step. So, and keep mixing it in. So wherever you see powder is where you need to be. There you go. It's what? It's not the edges that cake's getting not mixed in. Mm -hmm. okay. Is that all? No, there's more okay. in here. It just said gradually, so I was being gradual. Oh, it has to taste. So we're making this video on September 3rd for a party in my VIP group. Um, but I do intend to show this all season long so that I can show off this Better Batter box. If you are not in my VIP group, you better join and I'll post um, the link at the end of this video too. All right, that's enough gradual. Get it all in there, baby girl. All right. Good job. Whoa. Yeah. So it looks kind of dry here, to be honest, but the next step is adding four teaspoons of milk. Now our measure all cup is our adjustable measuring cup. 
It measures cups, it measures ounces, it measures tablespoons, teaspoons, and milliliters. So I was able to measure four um, teaspoons there. And so I'm gonna put this in, and you're gonna turn that to high. Uh, all the way? Yep. I'm scared. Don't be scared. And just get it all mixed in. So now we need to beat for two to three minutes, so we will be back. Okay, so we have our frosting here, you guys. Um, and we're not gonna do anything fancy today. I actually ordered Pampered Chef's um, piping bags and tip set, and I don't have it yet, so I'm just gonna let Gabby use one of our new spreaders and just spread it on top of each of them. Nothing fancy here. Oh, my elbow. It's fine, though. <laughs> You got it on your elbow? Yeah. <laughs> so we made this right here in our kitchen. Um, the reason that I'm super excited about the Flex Plus is because it is cordless. Um, I don't have to be stuck in the kitchen. And so the reason I wanted to order this period is because Christmas and Christmas cookies is my favorite. And I want to be able to be in the dining room with the kids when they're decorating the cookies, whipping up more frosting or whatever right. I need to do. So we will post a picture at the end of this video so you can see how Gabby's delightful little um, almond pound cake loaves have turned out. Um, but thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see ya.